just come back to the idea of setting up a, a real time observatory. Um, yeah. And in your the data that you have got, you've already said that um, you came up with a figure which is based on certain scenarios of a 50 gigaton release of methane into the atmosphere. I mean, that has huge ramifications for for everybody on the planet. Yes, I believe that it's not a regional problem, it's a global problem. And I believe that fluxes from the Siberian Arctic shelf, from the Arctic shelf, is to explain the existing in the world, the highest concentration of methane in the world, on the globe, is above the Arctic, the highest concentration. And we believe that there is explanation for that. This is a mission from the Siberian Arctic shelf. And this emission, not only from the Arctic shelf, the Siberian Arctic shelf, maybe from, from other Arctic shelves too, contribute to the global methane budget. And because this emissions never been incorporated in this budget, they should be paid much more attention and maybe the entire budget should be reconsidered. And because this is of global importance. And this is something that, I mean, should be discussed more when we talk about um, Arctic policy and, you know, just the... Yes, Arctic. it should be discussed more, absolutely, absolutely, it should be discussed more. Okay. Should be discussed more, should be paid much more attention. Last time I did ask you about uh, geoengineering. And, and geoengineering and intervention, to me, it's most maybe the most complicated question. I try to address this question the way I see it, but it's up to you if you keep it on your record or just... Yeah. Remove it because uh, the intervention to me means that you realize that you need to do something about it. You need to act because the situation is screaming for that. But because you don't know the real causes of what is happening, you cannot foresee the consequences. And this to me means that you're doing something just like you're treating your cancer with taking by taking the pills from constipation, but it doesn't help because you just don't know what you're doing because you do not know the causes. And I told you last time that once there was time when Russian scientists suggest to reverse the Arctic rivers just to water the crops uh, in the deserts. To me the intervention, intervention to the Arctic sounds something like this. It has no sense at all, because what, what it means to cool the Arctic, the suggestion was made that if you cool the Arctic by about two degrees, this might help. What it means to cool the Arctic, to cool the Arctic means that we have to change the climate in the Arctic, because uh, on this planet there is only one another area which is colder or cooler than Arctic, is Antarctic. What should we do, just to reverse the poles? what? Because to cool this huge area, you have to reproduce the climate. It's not a local thing to do. You cannot just put something in a water and make it cold. Yeah. You cannot do this. Because what makes the annual temperature is climate. And reproduce the climate all over any part of the globe, especially about the Arctic, which is colder than many other areas. How we can do that? It's easier for Arctic to get warmer than colder, right? Yes. So to me, this this doesn't sound any. The only thing I simply believe in that we need intervention in terms of learning more about it, learning more about it, about the processes, about methane emissions, about studying this area. This is where we need the intervention. So you would uh, you would call for. Increased observation, more yes, data, so more learning. I call for this. First learn, then do things. Uh, we only can uh, communicate our results to the interested audience. Not everyone seems to be interested in learning this uh, results from the first hands. Otherwise, we, we, we would have been invited to many more projects. We would have been involved into discussions because sometimes people discuss a uh, topic and data from the Eastern Arctic Shell. This usually looks like someone who heard something discuss this topic with someone who read something. 
sometimes read between lines or written by someone else who never walked there, who never dealt with this. And this is the discussions to me. Also, they're useless. They have absolutely no points. They, I don't know. They are very misleading and frustrating to us. And I especially would like to uh, recall those people, scientists or whoever is interested. Uh, if they want to cover this topic, please uh, choose information from the first hands, consult us, or at least participate in the workshop, the session that we plan to establish in NGO, HGO meetings, so that you gain knowledge before you plan your expedition, you plan your investigation, or you plan your publications. Because, um, as I said, it's a very complex topic, and, lo and knowledge requires from different disciplines. The more people are finding out about methane yeah. uh, People risk. start picking up on this topic, but not always authorities. I wouldn't exaggerate or overestimate our ability to communicate this topic to authorities, because Authorities usually make their decision based on opinions expressed by so-called trusted scientists. What the trust, trusted to, means, uh, to me usually means that scientists or group of scientists belong to certain very established communities that have been serving authorities for a long period of time, never interfered with this with authorities' interest or agency's interest, and so and so. So if you don't belong to this community, and we obviously do not belong, um, you might not be heard at all.